Cut in total professional comfort. Husqvarna. Available now at Hometown Motors Incorporated, 818 Eastern Avenue, Chillicothe. With Jackson White, congratulations. Prospect League champions for 2022. Yes, sir. Describe the feeling because, man, you were down 4 nothing and seemed like you couldn't get a hit. Yeah. But then you got to the bullpen. No doubt. That's all we had to do. Um, I still hasn't sunk in yet. I really don't know how I feel. I'm just so happy for the guys and for the rest of the coaches. Uh, Brian Menino did a really good job of – not a really good job, but a great job of bringing in this group of guys and just got us a good team. And uh, Brian Bigham and Greg Seifer coming in halfway through the year helping out. Uh, Michael Morissette. Um, another assistant that ended up having to leave because he got a job. All those guys, we couldn't have done it without them. So I'm um, just super proud of the players. Um, I'm going to miss those guys a lot. You know, we fought. Um, we grinded it out to the very last out, obviously, and I, I can't say enough good things about them. You you used just two pitchers tonight. Yeah. And you, you got the offense you needed. It seemed like it was going to take a while to get there, but yeah. uh, finally in the seventh inning, put on a big rally, then came back and capped it off with an eight-run eighth. Uh, you had to be feeling pretty good at that point. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, we had our, our, our top three guys going for us tonight. Um, you know, we had Lolly, our, our number one, in my opinion, um, you know, started the game, gave us a great start, gave us a chance. Um, and then Danford came in and finished it, obviously, because we ended up 10 running them. But Cal McIndoch would have come in uh, in the ninth if we hadn't 10 run them. But, uh, man, our pitching staff was, was – they were so fun to coach. They were so easy to coach. Threw a lot of strikes. They worked hard. And they competed, and that's all I can ask for. So, um, you know, once again, we we knew we had a really good shot today. If we could score a few runs, and we ended up scoring more than enough. So, big nights for Carson and yes. Marinsky. Yeah, uh, they, they 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 made things happen with the bat. No doubt, no doubt. Brett was frustrated yesterday, and I talked to him. It was a little. Um, he was not himself, and I was just like, "Hey, man, you know, it, it's 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 the same game. It's no different. This happens to be a championship game, but you got to go and take this and treat it just like any other game." And I think that's what he did tonight. Um, you know, he, he's a guy that expects to get hit every single time up to bat. And then obviously, uh, you know, the rest of the offense kind of followed behind him. But um, I love coaching that kid, Carson. I mean, he's 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 an A-plus kid. And he's going to go long ways in life and baseball as well, I think. But, um, but yeah, it wasn't ideal. Obviously not scoring until the, you know, seventh inning there. But, um, you know, we knew we had a shot once we tacked on a few. And like you said earlier, it got to their bullpen. How do you put the last seven days into perspective? You, you go and you, you blow out Johnstown. Yeah. You, you take care of the shrimp at their place, and then you hang out, and there's the first win yeah. in the championship series away from here. You come home and kind of stink it up Saturday night, but then yep. erupt Sunday night. Yeah, yeah, it took a while. And, like, the last two championship series, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but in 2019, we lost at home, and then we won the next two games on the road at Cape. And then... Uh, the same thing happened to Lafayette and Cape Girardeau last year. The first game was won by the visitors, and then the next two games were won by the visitors, obviously. So, you know, we won the first game on the road. We're the visiting team. Then all of a sudden, the visiting team wins yesterday. So it's like, uh, is there a curse or something? It's like the Madden curse. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's adversity, man. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing. We've had an illness going through us the last two weeks. Uh, we've lost a few guys the last two weeks. Just like everybody else, they've lost some guys as well. But, um, you know, we just overcome an adversity. When things don't go our way, we didn't let it get the best of us. And that's what good baseball players do. So, so what's ahead now? Everybody's broken camp, so to yep. speak, and they're all off yep. to where they go. <laughs> what about yourself? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, you know, we'll see. As of right now, I'm going back to uh, LSU Shreveport. Um, so, you know, like I said, I, it's going to work out down there fine. But I do have a few other things lined up. But we'll see. You know, it just kind of depends on the – you know how the interviews go, but I'm not too concerned about that. I'm just, you know, still trying to let all this soak in tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Got a couple hours drive time ahead of you. Yeah, a few, yeah, <laughs> so. a few to get to Indianapolis, yes, sir. All right, good luck to you and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. Roll paints. <laughs>